Hello everybody, Andrea Maeski here with Dental Health Tutoring. So I've been doing some updates early this morning and I wanted to point out a free 10 week study guide that I have done for dental hygiene students and dental assisting students as well because I, I'd say the most common question that people ask me, um, that people email me is, I have a month to study, I have two months to study, I have even three months, where do I start? What are the topics that I should focus on? Um, can you help me? So I thought that this would help you out. So I'm just going to, um, I will open up the dental hygiene guide to sort of give you an idea of what it looks like. So all you have to do is go to the main site at www.dentalL.com and it's right here. So here's the one for dental hygiene students. Here's the one for dental assisting students. So let me just click on the one for dental hygiene students. And I'll just kind of show you guys what it looks like. So this is just pretty much for a good, simple guide to kind of go through everything, okay? So, you know, starting from week one to week two to week three. Now, as you guys can see, week one is a lot smaller than week two, and week three is a lot larger than week one, you know? so. Don't look at it as, you know, everything in week one. So ethics, dental hygiene care, public health, health promotion, and cultures. It may take you more or less than a week to study. So it does depend on how much time you have. So for example, if you only have two hours a day to study because you work um, full time, you might still be in school, you have kids. So if you're only able to study, let's say two hours a day, then all of this in week one might take you two weeks or it might take you a week and a half. It might take you, you know, less time if you're studying six hours a day. So uh, the week one, two and three and four, um, et cetera, is just simply a guideline of what I feel you should be studying first, second, third, and um, so on. So um, yeah, you guys, so I just kind of put down all of the different topics, study, every single one of these things and you will be fine for the board exam. And you might be looking through and saying, well, not everything's on here, but everything here is what you need to know for the board exam. Because I don't have a crystal ball. I wish I did. I wish that I could tell you guys exactly what to study. I wish I could tell you exactly what would be on the board exam, but I can't. So these are all topics that have been on the board exam before, and these are the main topics that you should know. Plus, I took it um, a step further, and if you haven't signed up for um, the full um, board exam prep academy yet, sign up using this link here, which you just have to click on it, and you will have free access to all lectures for the past year also. So not only the ones for this year, but the ones for last year too. So that's huge. So I will just click on this for one second to just kind of show you guys. So for um, dental hygiene students, this is the page that um, pops up. You have full access to everything. So it's pretty easy. So if you're, for example, looking at the study plan and you say, whoa, I feel kind of overwhelmed. I need your help. I can help you guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you guys need any help, please let me know. And um, happy uh, studying.